So these could be like the last set of official Legends ZA leaks. Or I guess I shouldn't say official because these are just from like the Terra leak, which, you know, take it all with a grain of salt because they're a leak. You know, a lot of this could never come true. A lot of these things could change and everything like that. Basically on Central Leaks Twitter, he said something about these could be like the final Legends ZA leaks, which he's been deleting a lot of stuff because I think just in case Game Freak or Nintendo finds his account and deletes everything or gets his account deleted, he's been removing all the images and stuff off of his account like after a day or two or so but you can still find them online like he's making different files on different websites so you can still access all the stuff which is pretty cool legend za is probably going to be set after x and y not in like the past like the ancient past which is kind of what i was thinking anyways like like my thought was either that it's going to be taking place right before x and y or after because just just of how the original release trailer looks those are just kind of the vibes that i got like it's still kind of in the modern age make sure to subscribe to the channel guys leave a like and comment something down below about what you want in legend Legends ZA. It could be anything and any support goes a long way. So yeah, there's this picture right here that says the fan initially inquired about the starters in the era, noting that the prevalent discussion on the subject. However, Ku remarked that those who speculate it's in the ancient era are misguided. Interestingly, this fan believes that since Arceus is ancient, there could be a connection. Just talking about how he must be speaking Chinese because the conversation between my uncle and I cannot be translated by machine. I wanted to let them guess slowly, but it's not good to break the plot so quickly. So so basically what that's saying is that it's not taking place in like the ancient past where, you know, Legends Arceus was way in the past. That was that game was like the earliest kind of storyline we've ever had within a Pokemon game. But Legends EA, in my opinion, is probably going to take place some sometime after X and Y because it's the redevelopment plan. And what I think about that is like, okay, we have X and Y, we have Lumio City in X and Y. Redevelopment means, you know, doing it over again in which Lumio City was already developed in X and Y. So if they're going to redo it, they're probably going to do some sort of futuristic construction. That's kind of what I got with the trailer, like with all the blueprints and stuff like that. So I don't really know exactly what they're going to do. I think it might have something to do with like the ultimate weapon. Because Central Leaks also tweeted out the heart really is the key to everything. Note, this is not a new leak, kinda don't pay too much attention to this. So what I think he's probably referring to is the ultimate weapon here. Like I think that ultimate weapon has something massive within the story, which you know obviously makes sense because that was a huge plot point in X and Y, and it's there's so much like lore revolving around that. So it obviously would make sense. And I think by heart he's referring to the ultimate weapon. And within this tweet, he also made it so only he can reply. So, like, I can't, there's no other comments. So, there are no other, like, replies in here, which is interesting because I like to see how other people are thinking, like, what they're thinking and how they break this thing down. But I'm assuming, like, maybe the beginning of the game could start off with maybe the ultimate weapon exploding or going off and maybe maybe Lumio City got destroyed and maybe the beginning of the game starts off with us like rebuilding Lumio City and then we uncover a bunch of secrets as to like why the ultimate weapon actually went off or blew up or just something about the the secrets of behind why they're redeveloping Lumio City because why would they just redevelop it randomly you know what I mean like cities typically don't do like a mass reconstruction just out of nowhere, you know, unless there's like a real need to, and Lumio City probably didn't need to until the ultimate weapon went off, which I think this stuff is pretty interesting, and it still could be before X and Y, like this is not confirmed, Central League still stated that it could be before X and Y, the point is that it's not going to be in the ancient past though, whereas, you know, Legend Arceus was way, way in the past, like if it is in the past, it's still going to be within the modern-ish era, you know what I mean, like it's not going to be so far back to where it's like everyone's wearing different style clothing and stuff like that, like how Legends Arceus they were. And there are several things that Riddler Koo has actually been tweeting recently. He's been pretty active the last couple of days. He posted a tweet that says, Wondering why still not a single screenshot of Akaku, which is Legends EA, got leaked. A few groups already browsed some, which means, you know, people have already played Legends EA, apparently, you know, according to the leakers and stuff, and according to Koo. Like, people have already played the game on, like, the PC somehow. And the original window launches between A and J, still have no idea if they would do some adjustments because of the leak. That's kind of what one of my previous videos was talking about. Like, what if the leaks kind of delayed the the release of Legends EA? I don't think it will. The game that and what that means, I believe, is that the game is supposed to be released between April and July of 2025, which is kind of what everyone was thinking too. Like, kind of earlier, like first half of the year release, which I really still think it will like i still think it's gonna be released probably around the same time i can't imagine these leaks actually having a huge effect on the future of the release date and the reason i say that is because no like major leaks have came out from legends yet like 
we already know of two megas coming which you know it's kind of obvious we we have no official like screenshots no official gameplay so there's really nothing crazy to hide you know what i mean like the the leakers didn't want to release like give us the entire game which i think was pretty cool and i'm i'm down to wait like i actually really want to wait because even though i do want to see the leaks really bad i don't mind waiting you know what i mean Riddler Koo also tweeted, the epic is coming, and he posted a shiny Rayquaza. So, I don't know exactly what this means. A lot of people are thinking that this could be Pokemon Conquest 2, but I have, I don't know. There's also people saying it's going to be just a, a Rayquaza raid in Scarlet and Violet, which is probably what the case is going to be. You know, like, I feel like anytime anything really cool like this comes out, it usually... It usually is nothing that cool, so it would be crazy to get a Pokemon Conquest 2. That would be super, super cool. I've never played Conquest, but, you know, I, I would still love to have Conquest 2 because then I'd probably have more initiative to go out and play Conquest 1. I doubt it, though, because I feel like if there was going to be a Conquest 2, it probably would have been... It probably would have came out with a Terra League, you know what I mean? Like, it probably would have been in the files. Who knows though, I mean, I don't know how much stuff wasn't in the files of the Terra Leak, but we already know that that one game, Pokemon Rodeo is the code name, and I think it's also like Synapse, or Synapse is like also that game, but just a different version or something. It's, it's a little bit unclear exactly what Rodeo and Synapse are, like what the differences are. But I made a video about that too, if you want to check it out. It's my most recent one before this video, and basically that was a game where you can like ride Pokemon and battle Pokemon. It's an online like multiplayer game that's supposed to be, or was supposed to be released I guess on the Switch and the iPhone. It was, it's not like officially cancelled, but from the files they say it probably has been cancelled because it's been in development since 2019, which is crazy. He also tweeted, should we prepare some riddles about new Mega or starters or other stuff that you're interested in? That's crazy. And he posted this, your mega puzzle enjoy with five Pokemon that I have no idea what this could be referring to. A lot of people are trying to break the code in the comments or the replies, but this is, you know, typical Riddler Q. That's why his name is Riddler Q. He riddles that stuff and it's kind of hard to figure out what he's talking about. And the reason he does this stuff is because if he directly posts the leaks, he'll probably get his account deleted. So he kind of has fun with it. And a lot of people are upset at him for, you know, not being like, reliable but he's gotten so many things correct or at least close to correct in the past and it's like it's fine if he doesn't get some things right you know what i mean like a lot of things change behind the scenes and he definitely hasn't gotten everything right like whenever i make a video about whatever he says it's it's always like with a grain of salt because like it could be something totally else people could also be overthinking it for like with that shiny rayquaza picture people are probably overthinking it it's probably just it could even be a shiny Rayquaza raid within Scarlet and Violet to get people back on, you know, Scarlet and Violet. Or maybe they want to bring in more shiny Pokemon to get people, like, away from the leaks and stuff. And, like, get the news away from the leaks. Which is what they probably did with that one shiny Pokemon. I can't remember the Pokemon's name. I know. Leave a hate comment down below. I know. I'm sorry. I can't remember the name. But, you know what I mean? Like, it could just be just something coming to Scarlet and Violet. I, I don't think that's anything crazy. But... The Mega Puzzle, I, I have no idea what this could be referring to. Apparently, it's just like, a, it's like a word, it's like a word puzzle, but also involves math and, and stuff, so numbers, I don't know. This one seems pretty complicated. Like I said, a lot of people are trying to, you know, figure it out in the comments, and it's, it's impossible, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe, and stay tuned for future Pokemon news and updates.